Hey everyone, good morning. How are you all doing? My name is Bami, founder of Inspire to Soul Limited. If this is your first time of joining me, welcome. If you're a returning guest, welcome again. My passion and my mission is to tend the broken wings of your dreams so that you can be inspired to soar above your troubles. Because here's the thing, I believe that dreams are like birds that they require wings to fly. And oftentimes we go through difficult circumstances that break or damage the wings of these dreams. And all of a sudden it's as if the cloud has gone from bright and sunny to cloudy, to dark and cloudy. And my passion, my mission is to tend those broken wings of your dreams so that you can be inspired to soar above your troubles. So if you've watched the video that I did on Monday, I talked about um, the issue of masks, the pretense, the things we put on to cover ourselves. If you haven't watched that video, then I will encourage you to head over to the YouTube channel. I've uploaded it so you can watch that one. So on Monday, I was asking the question, what kind of mask are you wearing or do you wear masks? But because the, th the thing it's like a lot of us, we wear masks, we wear facades at different seasons in our lives. So today, my cha I've come with a challenge a challenge for myself and a challenge for you too because at every stage in our lives we will be challenged we will be challenged to bring all of us all of ourselves 100 percent weaknesses flaws strengths victories everything we are we will be challenged to bring it all to the table to come to be present with all of these things so I want to challenge you. Um, so the challenge I'm throwing out to you today is this. Would you dare to live bare? What does that even mean? By that I mean, would you dare to live without any mask, without any pretense? And like I said earlier on in the week, I know what it's like to pretend. I know what it's like to put on a mask. And you know what? And I'm going to talk about one of the masks I used to put on, to put all of this in context. One of the masks I used to put on in the past was that of full makeup, as in to cover what I perceived were imperfections, to cover weaknesses, to cover exhaustion, to cover anything untoward, anything that I didn't want anybody else to see anything that would make me look any less than perfect and you know something the, because the issue with masks is this wearing masks is, is this one it becomes a prison because it's you almost you feel like you're naked without it and you cannot function without it you don't think people will accept you without it you don't you don't think you, you wouldn't feel like you belong without the mask in place so you know what when i used to have this when i used to use makeup as mask i would pile on everything going before i stepped out of the house i will not be seen without any i will not be seen without the full makeup now please let me make this very 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 clear the makeup industry is a huge one the makeup industry has done a lot f a lot for people in terms of boosting confidence and all of those things so please hear me and hear me well i cannot i will never ever i'm not dissing the industry not at all all i'm just saying is that i used it as a mask for a very long time and it became my vanity became my mask and it became a prison too because if i needed to go out or whatever like that i'll feel like oh i'm incomplete without it i'm incomplete without putting this on putting that or putting that on and you know what it got to a head where i realized that you know what that was robbing me now, like I said, I can only speak for myself. People put on makeup for different reasons. For, but for me, it was a mask. And 
here's the thing in the years since that have reduced the amount of makeup i put on as you can see i still have someone which is like lip gloss this morning and i deliberately um this morning toned down on even what i was wearing so the only thing i put on was my lip gloss this morning and i did that for a reason i did that so that if i'm challenging you to be to dare to live bare i have to be able to like demonstrate it myself and you know something one of the things because i've had some very excellent responses from people over on, in the course of the week about this whole thing about mask living um with masks and how we can live without masks in our world and everything and earlier on this week i was saying about this the we live in this world of our modern age says oh fake it till you make it and like someone rightly said yesterday a lot of people confuse fake it till you make it they confuse it for positivity fake it till you make it is not going to get you anywhere whereas positivity is definitely a bedrock of a successful life and see this is the thing a lot of times we look at there are so many fads out there that we're trying to jump on that we're trying to emulate and if care is not taken we lose the essence of who we are and that is my challenge to you this morning dare to live bare dare to live without the masks you put on because the courage because it takes immense courage in today's world it takes immense courage to live bare to live free of masks and everything okay for example in the in the in the early days after I, I stopped wearing so much makeup and everything like that for me it was a very bold thing to do it was a very it initially it was even frightening because I was thinking mm, I wouldn't get the kind of look I want anymore blah 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 and everything like that but as time has gone on it has become the most liberating thing I i have done for my looks because now i leave my skin to breathe because that's what i want now i don't feel like okay you know what if i haven't put on layers and layers of makeup on that i don't belong that i cannot get up to speak that i, I cannot get in front of this camera that i cannot go out and have a wonderful time i hope you get my drift with what i'm trying to say now that it is the even though living bare can be the most frightening thing you do it would also be the most liberating thing and at the core of choosing to live without masks it's is that the issue of identity a lot of us we look to others for identity we look to okay maybe like mentors or our groups or whatever it is we look to those for identity but as one who believes in god and who believes that every human being made is god's masterpiece i believe that it's we can, it's it's only in looking to god that you can find your true identity whether you believe in god or you don't it doesn't change the fact that you are a masterpiece you're made a masterpiece so there is so it's i believe that it's it's really really a disservice when you now live as a cheap knockoff version of somebody else or of what somebody wants you to be to look like or be like or act like you know it's just it take for example think of some of these um very reputable designers you know um the other day i think it was burberry that they said i saw this in the news that they said that they destroyed a lot of their bags because they don't want um people who create they don't want cheap knockoff versions to be out there to be made because they know that there are lots of people out there who make cheap imitations of their ba bags and the, those cheap imitations of these designers and everything those knockoff versions they actually hurt the brand because in a lot of cases they're not created with the same quality with the same attention to detail or whatever it is that distinguishes that brand so in the same way when you 
in daring to live bare, to live as who you really are. You are saying no to being a knockoff version. You are saying no to being a cheap imitation of anybody else. You are saying, and you are saying yes to standing up as the masterpiece that you are. Now, and because I talk a lot about trauma and challenges of life on this channel, the, the question now comes when people say, oh, but, oh, you tell me not to live without a mask, you tell me not to, without a mask, you tell me not to live um, without a little bit of pretense because you don't know what I've gone through. You don't know what I've been through and all of those things. And the truth of the matter is, yes, no, I don't know what you've been through. But I can tell you now that even in the aftermath of trauma of difficult circumstances, it is, it is still a disservice to you to live a life of masks. Now, I will qualify that properly now. There is a difference between something that is a boost to your confidence and does not form your identity as opposed to something that you used to cover up, that you used to pretend to be somebody that you are not. That is what I call a mask. I'm not talking about, okay, maybe you need to have first people, maybe for example, maybe someone who's got, who's had major burns and they have to put on, um, they have to cover their scars with makeup or whatever it is. Def I am definitely not talking about that because at the end of the day, you, you know what will work for you and you know what you can live with. So, and those are the things you should, you, you you, you might need to use from time to time. But what I'm saying is like, whatever, I'm just saying that don't use masks. Things that make you pretend to be somebody that you are not. It is time to strip all of that off. It is time to stand up and be who you really are. Because it will be the bravest thing you've ever done. And the world needs you to be the masterpiece that you are. So if you're going through a f if you're going through a season, oh thank you whoever's joined me. I don't I can't see your name, but thank you for joining me. If you're going through a season where life has battered you, where circumstances have kicked you around, and that has made you um, put on a mask as a result. I want to encourage you to slowly but surely start stripping off the mask. Rome was not built in a day and especially there are some masks that you, you, you might have had on for the most part of the most of most of your life. The, and the things like masks they come in different shapes and forms and everything like that and yes I'm not saying that oh yeah, you want to air your dirty laundry outside to the public world, to the outside world. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like being a true version of yourself. Because like this morning now, I was rushing around and everything like that. And as I was thinking about doing this video and everything like that, I thought, okay, you know what? I'm, I, want to, I want to show up bare this morning, even more bare than I normally do. And I thought, okay, you know what? It's less, I want less makeup this morning. And you know what? <laughs> I was able to get get dressed quicker. My preparation time was quicker and everything like that. And I just thought, okay, you know what? Whatever my face looks like, that's fine. But it has been a journey. It has taken me, a, it, it has been a long journey for me to get to this point where I love the skin I'm in, where I don't feel the need to cover up where I don't feel the need to be to pretend to be somebody that that I'm not to pretend to have it all together to pretend that I to pretend that I'm perfect to pretend that I, I have all the answers and all of those things because that would be a lie because I have struggles you have struggles we and we are all human beings we will have struggles on a daily basis but showing up as the masterpiece that I am, 
showing up as the masterpiece that you are is what the world needs because here's the thing in showing up with all of my flaws and weaknesses and everything like that I am in a better position to encourage others to do the same as I'm encouraging you to and I wouldn't I'm not going to be the orator of the year and I'm not going to be the speaker of the year or whatever it is but for what I am for my mission for my passion to pursue my purpose which is to tend the broken wings of your dreams I don't need perfection because I don't need to be perfect I don't need the mask of perfection I don't need to to just I don't need to fake anything because <laughs> I don't need to do follow the mantra of fake it till you make it and all of those things. So I want to encourage and challenge you. I don't know. I don't know who. I'm, I don't know why you might have put on a mask, or why you are living with a mask. Whether it's difficult circumstances or whether it's one of those things that you've always done and you don't even know. You you can barely remember any time you've never lived any time you've never lived with without a mask i want to i want to challenge you today let today be the day that you say okay you know what i am brave i am courageous enough to show up bare i am courageous enough to show up without pretense because i am good enough i want to tell you you are good enough just as you are it they, just because you're good enough just as you are it doesn't mean that there is that you you don't um work towards um improving yourself in any way that's that's just part of life that's just part of growth but today where you are the way you are you are good enough okay you are good enough because we are all masterpieces you are created a masterpiece not a knockoff not a knockoff version of somebody else and yes it's good to admire people out there people who have done the things you want you want to do so they you call them mentors or you call them leaders in your industry or around you but it's good to look up to them it's good to learn learn from them but you're not them you are not them you know I have this thing that it make this it makes me laugh and it also makes me sad you know like when you have people who because they've followed a leader for so long then I try to talk like them and do this and do that and whatever and when you see the real the real person the the person who's been themselves and you see the ones who are pretending and trying to um um copy their mannerisms or whatever like that the difference is always so clear and the imitation the people who are who, who live as imitators it gets to a point where you just think oh that's just that doesn't look right that doesn't look um true that doesn't look genuine uh-huh i guess that's what i'm looking for what does being genuine mean to you it is time for you to find out if you've never done that and start living there okay so as you go into the weekend i want to encourage you to start taking baby steps because the journey of a thousand years begins with the very first step so start from somewhere so maybe like for me it might like in my case Maybe, maybe your makeup is, maybe your makeup might be one area you might want to play around with. Please, I'm not saying don't wear it. I'm not saying change your makeup routine or whatever it is. Each to their own. But all I'm saying is like, tr start with a small area of your life. So some days, for me, some days I'll just show up like this. And some days I'll put my eyeshadow on, I'll put more elaborate lipsticks on and all of those things you know for me it, 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 different things will work for different people but the important thing is to recognize that you are a masterpiece 
You are not a cheap imitation. You are not a knockoff version. And the world needs you just as you are. You Remember, you as the masterpiece, you are the solution to somebody else's pro to the problem that somebody faces. You are the, you might just be the encouragement. They want to give the encouragement that somebody needs. You might just be the one to come up with an invention that the world needs. The, the possibilities for masterpieces are endless. I want to encourage ch and keep challenging you. And I want you to keep challenging yourself. Don't rob the world of the beauty. Of the, of the beauty of the excellence that is within you. That is yet untapped. So, until the next time, be inspired to so. And I want to encourage you, if you found this video helpful, be kind, be generous. Share it with your friends. Share it on all your channels and everything. And also, if you want more inspiring videos, videos that would encourage you, videos that would give you a boost about being the best version of yourself subscribe to the youtube channel the link is in the notes and the other thing i want to say now is this that if you if you are struggling to find fulfillment if you're struggling to find th a thriving life in the challenges of life do give me a call or check out the website. My telephone number is plus four four seven five four two eight five four seven three four, and it's also on the on on top of the um, Inspire to Soul page. And the website is www.inspiretosoul.co.uk. Again, it's in the description of the for the for the um, Facebook page. So. I am looking forward to, and the world is waiting for you to show up in the most authentic version of you, to, to show up as the real you, to be present as the real you, to take off the masks, to take off the filters, and bequeath humanity with the excellence that is yet untapped within you. Take care and Thrive, remember, no matter what you've gone through, thriving is not a pipe dream. It is a possibility and it can be your reality. Take care. Bye.